Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a LEGO Star Wars review, and this one's on the Gungan Sub from 2012, of course. So, on the front of the two manuals, which have the LEGO Star Wars logo and the white and blue Darth Maul border from the time, and of course, this board kind of fits with the movie of Episode 1, of course. You can see a picture of the Gungan Sub flying through, or just swimming through the Oceans of Naboo. And, of course, and also, an interesting thing with this is that the manu both manuals are like one manual is a bit shorter than the other, just in height, that is. But yeah, not sure why, but whatever. First one, which has on the back after the online survey, and then halfway through the set. And that. Uh, for some comic builder set, of course. And then uh, for after Lego Club, add, and then a little comic strip involving this set, of course. And then all the meat, these included in the Summer 2012 line, and also all of these Summer 2012 line. In which the two Old Republic sets expect for next next throwback Thursday, and the other two upcoming throwback Thursdays as well. And then showing all the features of the set, of course, and the uh, pieces that come with the set, of course. And then again, and then last building steps. And then first, so first off with the mini fix. Which there's just about four of here. Now, first up, have uh, Qui Gon Jin and Obi Wan Kenobi. Well, uh, which with both of which with good uh, torso printings, and of course Jedi Bray on Obi Wan, and of course both of which wielding the green and blue lightsabers. Now, you're probably gonna say, were these exclusive to the? Uh, Anakin's pod racer set the year prior. Well, actually, the back face printings are kind of exclusive to this set, which I'll show in a moment. But yeah. And then next to which we have the ever so annoying Jar Jar Binks, and of course, wielding a harpoon gun there. And of course, face head mold, same as it's been since 1999, and of course, printing, same as it's been the year prior, of course. That. And then lastly, the only exclusive, uh, main exclusive to the figure to the set is uh, Queen or Princess Amidala, uh, which, as you see, the torso printing quite good, and also have a white headpiece with some good print face printing on it, and the hair piece of which, which is all soft rubber, so no need to worry about breaking. But however, the, the sculpting printing all looks really good for how it is. Then there's the bomb dress skirt piece or dress piece, which, which kind of fits over like eight studs, it's give or take, and also all the printings and sculpting work on it. Quite well detailed and quite really good for how it is. So, of course. Then on the, uh, on the back torso printings of each of them, see, not at all on the back face printing for Padme, but Good back printing for a hood, of course, and then, and as, and also as for uh, Qui Gon and Obi Wan, which do have them with the breathing apparatus kind of pe kind of things in the mouth in their mouths, which they of course use when swimming down to gu to Gungan in the movie, of course. Even though in like 2016, starting they made that as, as actual pieces and. Of course, if this set was done now, probably expect that in them, of course. And as for this minifig selection as a whole, I think what would have been nice if or if this set were done remade now, maybe include a boss mass or a random Gungan warrior for that. Just to kind of throw in with that, but whatever. But of course, Queen Amidala here, great to include here. 
and of course making a major improvement over the original 1999 Gungan subset. And, but, and of course, and once again, if Bosnas was here, it still would have been nice, even though he was never made before, but yeah. And that's about it with the mini things included. And now, on to the Gungan sub itself. Which, as you see, a quite interesting and quite cool uh, vehicle that we, we have seen remade just once, but personally time since 99. Uh, kind of hard to get all here, but yeah. And, but also, as you see, kind of neat color scheme of gray and blue. Also like the, that original version. And also kind of a water vehicle, which we barely see much anymore in Star Wars. Well, underwater, even though we're mostly air and land and space to that. One of the only water ones. Even though there was the arc in Clone Wars where they were all underwater, obviously, but yeah. So, like, as for the front part of which, which is, which, like the original set of which, does have the later style anchor piece in blue to get the shaping right to it, and also a few uh, cheese slopes in trans orange and clear to represent various headlights on it, and the shaping in this area done quite well for that. And then as for the rest of it, which instead of being all jagged slopes like the original set, to which instead it just has hinges and also curved slopes, which make it more streamlined for that, of which major upgrade to that and also great improvement over it but unfortunately quite gappy for that but kind of a necessary evil for lego of course and then further down which does have the clear plates with studs kind of exposed there but also necessary and then this further back part which is all resting on uh, large slopes and also with a bit of snot going on to there holding a, a a trans yellow stud representing another light to there. And then as for this cockpit kind of area, which do have, which are comprised of mostly the dome canopy dome pieces like we've seen in Atlanta sets two years prior to this one. Which all of which can lift up like so but hang on. And then, and then, for this enough space, you can also fit both Jedi mini sticks into this, and also, and the space pine is where you can sit Jar Jar into. So, so obviously, fits all three mini figs in this set. Oh, which, so you see, all three well fit in there. Also, and of course, to have a couple of cheat slopes and also bricks that have stickers on them. So there's quite a lot of stickers in this set. To touch on that. And like if you were to use this for going in water, well, that of which kind of the downfall, which would ruin the stickers, of course. But yeah. And again, great to see all the three figs fit in this and fit nice and securely. Oh, which major improvement over the original 1999 version of this set. And as for this uh, canopy part, which opens up like so. And of course, as you can see, quite hollow space where you can fit, oh, which where you can place both lightsabers and Jar Jar's harpoon into there and fit in like so. And of course, although in the instructions, you can like also store the uh, Jedi uh, cape cloaks in as well, but they fit into the front part just fine to me. But yeah. And then other side of which, which has one that also opens up and have this little orange piece, which is actually a mine to that, which if you know much about the Gungan sub, it which is present in that, of course, and just sits in there. And there is back part of which, which does also have these 
like wispy tail part of it, which kind of twirls around, like when it's swishing through the ocean, through the water, kind of does that. They have a uh, other dome piece representing the thrust to it, and then further down have these like uh, can other different canopy part, but in solid uh, light gray and large stickers on it with the Gungan with the Gungan writing on it. And ending features, you can like pull it off since it's attached to a couple of clips, so, like inside of there and. Also acting as a little escape pod to it, and also enough space to sit an extra fig in there if you wanted. So it's kind of a bit like the original 1999 version, but just not as much interesting or hectic as that. But yeah. And how to get it back in is with the odd bricks on the sides to line up to the ridge in there, and make sure it clips in like so. But yeah. <clears throat> oh, also forgot to mention is also does have these two crates that slip right upwards, which you can open right up, and there's with a couple little cylinders in trans blue, representing the electro orbs that the Gungans used to hurt the droids with. And of course, still carry over from the uh, Gungan Patrol set in 2000, which is good to see there. And also in the Battle in the Boot set to the year prior to this video. And so now on my overall verdict on this set. Overall, this is which a just really good set and also great improvement over the original 1999 Gungan sub. And in though for the uh, $70 it was at the time, kind of steep, well, maybe, probably because of the Padme minifig included with that, but which kind of stinks, but, it, and of course, if this set were remade now, I think it would probably be about as good as this, uh, maybe a little better. Oh, and also forgot to mention, underneath it, or else a, a flip wire missiles, of course, but, and again, if this were done now, I would probably include, like, probably include a uh, sprinkler launcher underneath it, since those are work a lot better than those, but yeah. And back to the verdict is, and of course the playability, which quite also quite good for how it is, like, able to fit all three, or both the, both the main Jedis and Jar Jar in the uh, front cockpit part, which major improve again, Major improvement over the original 99 set, of course. And although being $20 more than the original 1999 set, which mainly because of Amidala, Queen Amidala for that, if this were done nowadays, probably be priced the same and maybe include an extra thing like, obviously, Bosnas, of course, but yeah. And uh, what else is there to say? Not much. And also, Maybe include a couple of fish pieces in there to represent the quote that Qui-Gon said in it, there was always a bigger fish, of course. And so now, if any of you still have this set from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of it. And for those of you who have it and are still looking to get this set, I'd say definitely pick it up. eBay, Bricklink, Mercari, whatever. And that is it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.